Howdy, folks. Oh, my camera's all goofed up. <laughs> there we go. Maximum shiny forehead. So I'm just getting some mods sorted out. I'm going to throw some new ones into the mix, and we're going to start a new campaign. Uh, out in the desert, we've got the Western Sahara DLC. So we're playing Anti-Stasi Ultimate. Uh, not really to use any of that uh, extra stuff, but just so we can use a different map, basically. Uh, we're not going to be doing the rival faction or any of that stuff. I found that just to be tedious rather than fun because you're constantly going out and attacking their stuff once they're on board. But I think I got the mod list sorted out, so let me get that uploaded. So the link in the description will actually work. There we go. That looks good. Just got to get that uploaded real quick. Hey, Corey, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Just got to hop out to my server and throw that in the right folder real quick. Fresh, and then there we go. That should work now in the video description. Pause that. Exit out of there, and let's launch some Arma. Then you get my ch chat popped out over here. John Paul, howdy from Ireland. Well, howdy from Missouri, USA. I had a lot of family in Ireland, but we came over here, I think, in the early 1700s. So we've been away from the home island for a while. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, Sauce Spur was going to do some multiplayer stuff. So have fun with that. I've been wanting to play Arma all week. Finally got time to stream, so we're going to go blow up some stuff. Be good therapy the work week I've had. <laughs> Go do some pew pews. And we'll see. I need to get this campaign set up and see if everything's going to work correctly. I found a cool AAF desert retexture mod. which should, in theory, replace all the um, AAF stuff with some nice desert camo. Let's see if that works. Here we go. All right, we can swap over to the game. If you're watching this after the fact, I'll try to put some timestamps in the chapter. So if you don't want to watch all the setup, you can jump right in. Never tr played, but wanted to try Arma. It's a complex beast, and the learning curve is pretty steep. But there's nothing else really like it. We're just sandbox, milsim. Um, let's see. I had this. I think I could actually. I wonder if I could load that. Does that? Because I think it just replaces AAF. So we'll try that. We'll see. Because I had this set up. Um, I don't remember if I saved at the start or if I saved after I'd already done stuff. So let's fire this one up and we'll see. I might want to restart. So I've already done some testing. Is this the one where I had already... Yeah, I've already done stuff, so we'll, we'll start over from scratch. I was doing some testing. Sorry, Petros, I'll be right back with, with a new game. I did want this uh, streaming series to be from the beginning.
It's not a terribly big map, I don't think. All right, so if I go here and I say, uh, create new game, load old params, and then I delete that one, make a new one, it should have all my same settings, basically. That looks good. Uh, we want to get this turned on. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, we could do some Apex, I think. Uh, did I buy tanks? I don't remember if I bought tanks or not. I think I bought tanks, but not jets. We'll throw that in there as well. Parameters. Yeah, it looks like it copied the stuff, so I think we're good. Yep, that looks good. All right, start game. So we have uh, AAF occupants and CSAT invading. All righty, now we got a fresh game. Hey Adam, yeah, we're starting a new new campaign since we won on Mal on Malden. What you got there? You got the PDW. So this uses the uh, Western Sahara uh, DLC. So the map's pretty cool, nice uh, deserty vibe to it. Other than that, it's pretty much vanilla as far as the factions and the units go. It's just the uh, some of the factions are from the DLC. All right, we should have our, yeah, we got our PDW and a bunch of mags, so we're all set. Uh, it doesn't start you with anything in here, so we need to buy a truck. And yeah, let's just go with the normal truck, and it's kind of deserty. You can see it's got the snorkel. <laughs> I guess that's kind of deserty. I don't know. Keep it out of the sand, maybe. But I'm going to throw this back in the garage so we can customize it a bit. Hey, John. Yeah, we're starting a new campaign tonight. Uh, yeah, beige is fine. And we're going to hide the bumper. Do. Oh, there it goes. It's just being slow. No, not bars. Uh, rear structure. There we go. No tailgate seems fine. Done. How many war crimes? Not sure. We'll try not to do too many. That's always the goal. No war crimes. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and save now that I just got the truck customized. And let's see, we start out with uh, 1,000 tour of money. So we're the tour of faction. And I've got 500 bucks. I think I'll just grab like four dudes. Not even a medic necessarily. Or should I take a medic? Seems like the medic's always the first to die. Yeah, let's just grab... I'll just take three dudes with me, so a total of four. And we'll go see what kind of trouble we can get into. We got the old uh, PDW 9 mil. Good stuff. <laughs> it's basically an Uzi. And what I've been doing is just heading up to uh, this town over here. And we'll see what's going on. Sometimes it spawns a roadblock there, but not every time when I was testing. So I'll just drop a... I can remember how to play Arma. Drop a marker on that.
The first one's free, Adam. <laughs> so we'll kind of try to stay on the road for now, just so we can maintain our undercover status. The patrols seem to be pretty frequent, at least in my testing. Woo! No game sound? Oh, thank you. Every time Windows update, I just need to need to do this. I should fix that. There we go. Thanks for the heads up. Didn't notice the meter wasn't working. It's the new stealth truck. Thanks, Dark Wind. Chat PA in the house. Yeah, it could very well be just because it's a smaller map. Actually, let me just show the map real quick before we get into the thick of it here. So, this would be a kilometer, so it's about... I guess it's bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's a little bigger than I thought. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, so it's like 12 kilometers squared. It's, it's bigger than I thought it was. Uh, kind of one main airbase up there. We got CSAT coming in from the north. Oh, there is another airbase up there. So two airbases. It's just kind of, it's kind of spread out. See how it goes. I, I bought this DLC a while back when it was on sale, and I haven't really done anything with it. But I bought it specifically to play anti stasis on it. So that's what we're doing. Go we'll have a little look-see over here. Yeah, it looks like it's about 12 by 12, something like that. And I've got civilian vehicles turned off, but they still drive around, so I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. All right, do we have a roadblock up here? We do. All right. They don't have a machine gun, though. That's something I've noticed. Sometimes it, sometimes they have a machine gun in the back of the truck, and sometimes they don't. We got kind of lucky this time, because they don't. So I think we'll probably start out. We'll take out that roadblock. Uh, there's a lot of roving patrols, because there's a resource point here. And they're just kind of around the town quite a bit, too. Actually, get off the main road. I don't want to get too far, though. I want to maintain my undercover status while I can here. All right, so let's just have a little peek around. So you can see there's two guys off in the distance there. There's going to be a bunch of patrols on the other side of those buildings. Yeah, there they are up on those hills. We've got some police patrol. There's a lot of dudes here. For sure. Wondering if we ought to maybe get up on there and shoot down. Of course, our guns don't have the best range in the world. Might be able to use this little berm up ahead of us. Uh, let's see. Let me get my guys out. I added a mod. Supposed to add a command. There it is. It's on the three menu. Fire on my command. So they, in theory, should not fire until I fire. It just saves you fumbling around with the menus. All right, fellas, I want you to get up there. Or I pop undercover off. Take your time. <laughs> no rush, fellas. There we go. Uh, there's, oh, there we go. Okay. It must have been on uh, safe or whatever it's called. All right, I'm going to have you guys hit the dirt here. Uh, is it on seven? Yeah. Don't go prone. There you go. And then I'm going to hop out.
We got some policey dudes walking right up the hill here. Uh, the more CPU, the better, Corey. It's pretty pretty CPU bound. But you can turn the settings way down and get away with a fairly you know a medium PC. But the more, the better, of course. Not sure, if it's spotting those guys. It's about to get ugly. Dang, my aim was all over the place. This is uh, Western Sahara, Bill. It's uh, one of the DLCs. I forget what the the map has a name, but it's it's uh i don't know what it is it's the western sahara dlc all right now that got these guys kind of stirred up they're wondering what's up oh i think i got spotted yep uh let me get them back on automatic stance and go don't do anything stupid. I don't think they can see anybody yet, so they're not opening fire. Those guys are like honed in on my position there. <laughs> they're ready. I tickled him. Got a couple of them. They're dragging their buddy off. Behind the truck. Back at the group. Let's see if I can get these guys down on this wall. Wrong account. Road trips. <laughs> What's up? We going on a road trip? Nice. Man, push this with that bro. Oh, cool. I love the grenades with the improved grenade mod. Okay, let's meet him. All right, let me see if I can get this guy up. Get some aggression down. I don't think we attracted anybody too far away, so that's good. But I will go ahead and toss a schmook. Ready? Okay, we got, we got some basic vests. Oh, I forgot to grab a loot crate. That's a plus and ultimate thing. These crates don't work as like loot crates. Yeah, you guys can go bye bye. I will take your radio and your vest. And I'm actually going to switch to the vermin. I think it's going to have a little more power to it, maybe. Oh, he's only got one mag? Or no, he's got three. All right. Never mind. I'm on the bush. And grab what you need, fellas.
They don't seem to want to pick up like the vermin, even though I, I personally, I think it's a better gun. The AI don't seem to think so. Hey, James. Things are good now that I'm playing video games. I'm gonna get them spotted so those guys are aware. Dang it, I forgot to put them on hold fire though. Forty five is probably not even making it out there. Aslaw <laughs> Ozot Khatar. Watch my back, boys. One taking command. All right, he had a helmet, so that's cool. Go, magic smoke, go. Maybe my AI will keep them busy. Oh, crap. Yes, it's not a good gun for range, for sure. These guys have got some better guns. He's got a freaking Moz. Alright, you're free to go. You're free to go. Pretty sure that's the civilian helicopter. Oh, you couldn't put a decent side on here? Alright, we'll just iron side him. It looks like a civilian helicopter, so... Let's hope that it is. I'm gonna get these other two guys up. That's the dudes I let go. Oh, he just croaked. Alright, I've got a decent amount of ammo, so I'm gonna try to recruit this guy. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff here, fellas, so no excuses for not picking up a vest and a helmet, okay? Although I saw a helmet. I wanted to grab a helmet. Give me a helmet. Please. Where did the helmets go? I know at least two of these guys had helmets. Oh, he's got a freaking Mark 14. How much ammo do you have for that? Heck yeah. All right, we're we're we just became designated marksmen. Need the freaking HE rounds. Just shooting that, boys. Why you guys still have pea shooters? We're surrounded by good guns. You idiots. I'm gonna have to tell them specifically to pick up a certain kind of gun, I think. What are you guys shooting at? I bet they're shooting at guys way out there. Symmetry over there? Okay. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to manually arm these guys. Because the stupid auto rearm doesn't work for some reason. 
don't know why it does that sometimes. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. Two. Okay, you're two. Two. I told him to take a rifle. Hopefully it's not the one that's all the way across the map. Oh, he took that one. Okay, good. Good job. No ammo. Now, if I tell you specifically to rearm, will you grab ammo for it? Yay! Alright, that much worked. Alright, three. Same. Burahab. Dorabiam. Montazerab. Dushman Dorimiot. Marb. Divi Smith. Darjelu. And John Bida. Hey, Randy. Yeah, we beat Malden, so it's time for a new series. Look at this. Why would you not take a Mark 20 over your pea shooter? Alright, I'll give you a helmet. And here, take some grenades. Now I'll have you auto rearm. In case you want something else. Oh, I did miss the helmet. There it is. I was like, I swore there was helmets in here. Alright, civilian vehicle incoming. Do we have another? Yeah, we've got another freaking right here. Four, you're going to be our grenadier. Oh, uh, crap. Yeah, boys. Took care of that with the old 762. More police moving in. Alright, four. Buddy, I need you to come over here. Pick up a dang gun. I hate having to micromanage these guys, but I also want them to have somewhat decent guns. You're going to pick the wrong inventory, aren't you? Well, fine. Take the pistol. Here, come over here. I could take control of him, but that tends to mess up things. Uh, so I don't really want to do that unless I have to. Open that crate right next to you. There you go. Good job. Did it, buddy. Okay, everybody, grab anything you need. We're going to get out of here. Except I kind of want to go up to those guys. Maybe I'll just try to get them with the loot crate earlier. They're probably blood out by now if they haven't already blood out. I need to get a loot crate and get all this stuff gathered up. Them, uh, get them fairly well armed now. All right, let's go, boys. Daddy off you. Daddy off you? What? Montazerab. Amadam. Amadam. That four bring our truck back. Ciao. Bora birud. Anjam midam. Hydrometer? No, get in the truck. Low fuel, yeah, I know. Story of our life. Uh, four, go here. There's our base. Alright. Hopefully no attack choppers or technicals out here. Tirandos, half-sadmen, shomal-e-gab, mar, 1 kilometer. 
All right, sounds good. Everything's going to respawn, unfortunately, but M's the brakes. Whee! <laughs> We're going to Dukes of Hazard right back to the base. It's going to be great. Do, save, Piotr Shum. Montazerab. All set up. Do, save, Burbalam. Shenidam. All right. Montazerab. Let's go to buy a loot crate, please. There comes four. He's slowly making his way back to base. That's okay. He doesn't drive like me, which is probably a good thing. So we got a pretty good haul. We just need to go get the rest of the loot. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. Arma insists on picking up HE grenades, even if you don't have that kind of gun. All right, good job, four, but uh, get a little closer. Make sure we can throw that in the garage if we need to. That'll work, sir. Excellent work, boys. All right, let's make sure everybody's healed. It should be good to go. You're not close enough, uh, carry. Uh, no problem, Adam. It'll be up. Anytime you're ready to watch and even watch a little bit and come back later and watch. Appreciate you trying to hang in there. Look how smooth that is. I don't know what they did with Plus, but all that stuff is so much smoother. All right, we got a loot crate. Quarter tank of fuel in a dream. Let's go get some loot, boys. Did he just say soup cannon? Because that sounds like an awesome idea. Some launching soup. all over this place. Pretty sure we go this way and loop back around to get to that town. Oh, that looked like a technical. <laughs> it's a bush. <laughs> uh, it's been a long week. Yeah, brought to you by Campbell's. Open wide. Okay, who respawned? Let's go down to that main battle point. Let's see what's up. Khodro, Ibismet, Jello. Oh, that's just a spawn. Another truck. We need to find a fuel truck. That would be very nice to have. Oh, it's stabilized out, Adam. <laughs> it's like, ah, he's gonna get off. We're, we're, we can quit screwing around now. 
Uh, I'm just gonna have four take that right back to base. We can always use trucks. Yeah, what he said. Oh, crap. You're not shooting at people like half a kilometer away, are you? I hear the echo off the sand. I can't tell what's going on. Who are you guys shooting at? Oh, there's somebody over there in town? I don't see him. Your rifle over there in the distance somewhere. Oh, he's on the other side of the houses. They're shooting through the houses at him. Hey, I can't see through things. <laughs> Where is he? Is he in a bush over there? Yeah, he's back in that bush. Got him! Who just took a hit? You? You good? No, you took a hit. Can I treat you? Three. Chill out, dude. Same. East. You'll hold still. Oh, I don't have a med kit, I forgot. Somehow I ended up with no med kits. Whoops. I only had a giant box full of loot here. I think I can heal him. Yeah. Ah, uh, treat. There we go. Since I'm a commander, I have like limited medic abilities. There we go. You're all good, buddy. Oh, crap. That is not a civilian helicopter. Bulgar, have said me. Trust me, Shumal. Where he's landing over by the resource point, it looks like. I don't have a lock on, so this is going to be pretty iffy. Right over the top of him. Five hundred. Oh, how did that miss? That one didn't miss. <laughs> Got him. Hey right, fellas. Do same. Back at the guru. Do same. Savor show. Chahan. Kyadeshom. Chahan. East. Ball jump. Neem Chilumet. Sam the Sam Sasim. Almost up. Put this loot up here and then we got that loot over there. That'll be the bulk of it. down this little pocket here. No, that doesn't give us any cover, does it? Get up here and I'll take the loot box down over the, the ridge. Do, Sam, what have you done? Dari up shot. I'm on them. All set up. Who says we get? Chedi them. I hit that heli, but I don't see any smoke over there. So it may have just kind of crash landed on. It was pretty low to the ground when I managed to hit it. Hopefully I killed the troops on board. So I can just do this. That works. I hear another heli. Your 
hear something. What am I hearing? Oh, all right, let's go get that loot over there. Do, Sam, Arab Nashidim. Do, Sam, Savosho. And Jamie Dam. Montazerab. Amadab. Shoftan Dara Tamukushe. Do, Kamen. Yeah, I know, we're low fuel. Chill out. This is going to be tricky because we'll be in view of that resource. Probably want to come in from behind this hill. Do, Sam, Piyade Shom. Dariyab Shod. Hazaram. Hazaram. Do, Sam, Khatar. Yeah, you guys just chill. Do same based. Dargir, I said it. Shout. Oh my God! The respect. Something else. Let's see if that was a technical or not. Where are these bodies? They were right over here. A little further away than I thought. This dude's way out over there. Almost out of render range. A whole bunch of dudes right down there at that resource point. I'm hoping they don't see me up here. Am I close enough? I think that sound effect. Yeah, all right. I was close enough. We got their stuff. Do 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 do. Uh, Randy, I prefer the mod, the community version. It's the most up to date. I think the most balanced. But I wanted to play on this uh, DLC map, and unfortunately, the community version doesn't support it yet. It's in testing. I think there's a huge list of maps they're testing. But... So we're using Ultimate just so I can play on this map. Okay, let's get this stuff back to base. Do same, I'm on the bush. Do same, Savorsho. We'll at least have some stuff. I'm on them. Sultan Tabumishem. Oh, set up. I'm on your body. Such chummer. You're not like a fuel or something, are you? And then are you? Napa Auto Parts? No. It's just a van with a skin on it. But that being said, Randy, I've not actually played Ultima before. I've just seen people play it. But it's basically Andy Sassy Plus with more maps and factions. And I have played plus. Woo! Oops. That could have been disastrous. Wait, we got infantry out here? Oh shoot, we do. We're literally like right down the road. Do, Sam, Bora Birun. Chenidam, Montazeram. Amadam. Where'd you guys come from? Must be a weed you can't go through, I guess. Get him, boys. I got the group. Do, Sam, Khatar. Fahmidam. Ciao. I'm going to get the bus. I 
missed him. Didn't miss him that time. He's got a friend. Did he go? Crap. Too close to base to use grenades. Somebody use a grenade. Oh, he found Petros. <laughs> how how did they end up over here? That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> that sucks. He, he headed right for Petros. Did I miss a message here? That they were coming after Petros? Or that just randomly spawned a patrol down here? Right next to HQ. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, that's not a great start. <laughs> That's not a great start. That's interesting, though, that there are bad guys down here. Like, right next to the HQ. How did they get here? There's a two-man team. There. I guess we'll start over here. No? I'm not sure what just happened. Did you guys get him? No, they don't really patrol the roads. They typically only patrol around POIs. Oh, he's still down here. Apparently he's bulletproof. Finally. And what was up with that? So, did it move my HQ? Oh, it moved my HQ, but we're not there. Okay. I might just start over, because that's... And pick a different base location. If it's going to spawn patrols, like, 100 meters from Petros, that's not really uh, a fair game condition, in my opinion. Let me see what weapons these guys got. It looks like just the normal two-man patrol. Move 75 meters left. Yeah, he says this is just a basic two-man patrol. Man, it sucks. We had such a good start, too. Where is two? Is two down? Is anybody getting two up? Somebody's saying, oh yeah, three says he's going to get him up. Are you getting him up? Are you just farting around? You're going to get him up? All right. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, we lost a bunch of our money. Basically all of our money. And we got to relocate. It's a tough start. I'm going to call that a bit of a bug. I'll probably report that on the Discord. Like, there's nothing around here. So it had to be just one of the random patrols it puts out in the world. This isn't even considered a town or anything. Maybe it considers a, 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 the Oasis a POI or something? I'm not sure. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, these guys, this is just a bog standard patrol. Weird. Alright, well, let's gather up the loot, 
Tuck her tail between her legs and head north, boys. <laughs> Get the crate. Did somebody get two up? Yeah, everybody's up. All right. Let's get everybody. Oh, I can't heal everybody. Right. Uh, I don't have a medic on the squad. Where is two? Two, come here, bud. Do for a ram. Shady dam. Pushes me dam. Who's two? You're two? How did I end up with no med packs again? Give me all the med packs. There we go. Oh, it says you're red, but but I can't heal you, so you're not actually red. It's just Arma being Arma. Alright, fair enough. Can't imagine being a new Arma player, like with all the bugs and inconsistencies. <laughs> you just gotta roll with it. Nothing makes any sense in Arma. It's usually broken. Still fun though. That Mr. Dragonfly. So I don't even have my garage down here, so we're going to have to convoy up to the new base location. That'll be interesting. Maybe we'll spot a uh, gas truck on the way. Yeah, you can hope that blue, but playing Reforger, it's going to be the same old bugs. Because Reforger has a lot of the same issues and bugs that Arma has always had. So I think it's more about their design patterns than anything. Arma 4 is going to be better performance than the same old bugs. That's my prediction. It's going to look better and perform better. It'll have a lot of the same just weird bugs and stuff. Because that's the way Reforger is. That's just my opinion, of course. Yeah, we could fast travel, but I kind of want the opportunity to explore the map and maybe find a repair truck or a fuel truck. Something we could use. Alright, load you in. Two, can you heal yourself? Street rifleman. There shouldn't be any rifleman anywhere close to here that needs treatment. So what's that all about? A three is the one that's injured, even though two is showing as injured. That makes sense. That's why it said heal rifleman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, armed assault three. Yeah, we can go undercover in either one of these trucks, unless undercover's been busted on them. Yeah, it's been busted on that one. I think this one we can go undercover on. Yep. Alright, so, um, let's see. How about two, you get in with me. Three, you get in with me. Same. Savorshu. Are you kidding me? I must have been accidentally pointing at the truck. On me, four. See if he can get himself sorted out. Still in late access. <laughs> Holy crap. So how far is it across the map? Nine kilometers? It's not bad. The town there. Yeah, maybe we'll just fast travel. Is there any... 
We've got a town there. Let's go look over in this town real quick. If we don't find any interesting vehicles, then we'll just fast travel back to base. I played a lot of Anastasia. I've never had Petros get killed before he even really dropped my first save. <laughs> that was nuts. Yeah, there's a, there's see there's another like random patrol that's out in the middle of nowhere, which is fine, but there should be an exclusion zone, in my opinion, around your starting area. What you go for? There you are. All right, boys. Oh, dang. <laughs> Who's got the noob tube? Who's got the noob tube? Aw, oh, two, you beautiful bastard. Something's exploding over there. Oh, a couple of them. A couple of them have noob tubes, I think. Nice. You just annihilated those poor guys. <laughs> All right, four. Bring the loot box, buddy. Chahar, run and them. Savor show. Fahmi dam. Do same. Savor show. Anjam midam. Hazaram. Hazaram. Montazaram. Zuf kame. Those poor guys got wrecked. Yeah, it must have been vehicle spawn explosion. All right, go ahead and get out, guys, just in case. Four. Come here, four. What have I got left for the rocket launcher anyway? I've got 175. All right. Down the road, you idiots. I don't remember what the range on this is. 50 meters? No loot in proximity. Oh, this one dude's still alive. What a chad. Oh, they're both still alive. I was not expecting that after a uh, grenade. Well, he croaked. I think. No, he's dr Is he trying to heal himself as he's unconscious? Like there's, or maybe I dropped that. I bet. Okay, I bet I dropped that from doing that. It looked like he dropped a saline bag. How would you like to come join the, the good guys? <laughs> Screw you. No, they're, they're strangely enough, not interested. Uh, let's see four, everybody have a vest. Let me just drop this here and have my have my boys rearm. You guys want anything out of here? I don't know if they can even see loot in here. A couple med kits. Yeah, they maybe don't see this crate, which is fine. Worst battle buddy ever. <laughs> yeah, those were the enemy. All right, four back in your truck. Doing three on me. Do same. Savor show. Amadam. Sultan Tamu Mishe. Amadam. Amadam. Oh, it comes a police truck right as I go undercover. <laughs> Here he comes. It's the Popo. What's up, buddy? 
So that's just a roving patrol. Interesting. This is a very active map. Yeah, I think you have to turn on that option, uh, Blue. But I don't know for sure. I've no, I've not played Ultima before. But it's based on Plus, which is based on communities. And I know on the community version, you have to enable that option. Enable the self-revive. These guys are really bad shots. Sometimes if you want something done, you just got to do it yourself. Good job, boys. <laughs> Get a little low. Uh... Oh, no, I got six max. Never mind. I was reading that wrong. Not getting low on ammo. Uh, you almost got a flat tire, don't you? Chahar, run and aim. Savar show. Dariop show. No, I'm going to put the box in my truck. I don't have to keep having him do stuff. Well, we were going to move back to base, but so far, all we can do is find loot, which is good. Not complaining about the loot. Do, same, Savor show. Hey, it's a Tornado Guy Gaming. Yeah, Antistasi is a mod for Arma 3. If you're not familiar with Arma 3, it's a big sandbox, Milsom. And Antistasi is kind of a, a, a guerrilla warfare simulator mod, so you start with very basic weapons, you're massively outmanned and outgunned, and you try to take over the map. Yeah, what he said. And there is a mod list in the uh, stream description. I'm using a ton of mods. All right, let's get this guy revived. So if I revive and release the enemy, that kind of lowers the aggression against me. You can see the aggression up at the top there. We have the AAF, Altus Armed Forces, I believe. They're the occupiers of the land. And we have CSAT. And they are the aggressors, so they're moving in. They're trying to take over the map, too. So they're up here. They're trying to take over. We're trying to take over from both of them. So it's it's us versus both. Let's go ahead and release you. Oh, you can be revived, too. So how you do that is up to you, but we're starting pretty small, so we got to kind of sneak around and take out little patrols, gather up weapons. I just got spanked. We had a random patrol spawn right next to my base where I start. And they killed Petros, who was the like the leader of the revolution. So we lost almost all of our money. Or what are you doing? And we had to move our base. You're trying to blow up both trucks, aren't you? See what you're trying to do. Punk. Right, I think I'm close enough. This will gather the loot from those two crates. Yep. All right. Good deal. Okay. Let's once again try to head down the road. You can see when I get in here, I'm undercover. So we're in a civilian vehicle. 
As far as the enemy is concerned, we're just civilians. But that can be busted if we get too close to the enemy or if we go too far off-road and get noticed. Stuff like that. Yeah, right? Right, Milo? It needs a, a helix for sure. And if you play with the cut mods, you can get that. I wanted to keep it fairly vanilla. All right, where are we? So this is, okay, there's a factory to the south. We got the radio tower base. Report position. I'm right here. You goofball. I see a truck at the factory. Don't see any civilian vehicles, unfortunately. Wait, what's that up there? No, that's a roadblock. I don't, I don't want to take out a roadblock right next to so much troops, though. Just one civilian car is all I see. Alright, nothing over here. So, I think, let's see if we can fast travel up to our new base location. So, we moved all the way across the map. Alright, sweet. It's going to take 40 seconds to fast travel up there. That's a lot faster than driving, though. There's stuff happening I can't see. Better turn that off before I get in trouble. So we're kind of kind of almost starting over. We had to move base. We lost all our money. In the original mod, if Petros died, it was game over. Like that was the end. It's a little more forgiving though. Somebody joined our cause. Who joined our cause? Oh. <laughs> the town we were fighting in down there. Yay. Alright, everybody out. Time to regroup. Yeah, railroaders a ton of fun. Uh, let's transfer cargo. Hey, we unlocked some 556. Or A556 mag and a 45 mag. Alright, cool. So if we get 25 of something looted, then it unlocks. It becomes infinitely available. Uh, let's see. Yeah, off-road is empty. Are you in the garage? Oh, I need to you get this closer. Actually, I can just garage it. I forgot. If I just garage it, it'll put anything it has in its inventory into the arsenal. All right. Well, let's save. <laughs> what a ride. Okay, we'll head down to this town. We'll see what we can find down there. This is our original truck. So you have 13% fuel, 28%. Oh, and this one's fully fueled, the one, the bad guy one we stole. Nice. I will take the low fuel one and we'll see if we can find some fuel. Uh, I need a toolbox too. Actually, it might behoove me to actually have a toolbox on me. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my starter gear. What do we have for starter vests? Just the slash stuff? Alright. That'll work.
Got just a few mags. I can fuse the inventory. Uh, I'll probably go back to Railroads Online eventually, but it's so buggy right now, I just have no desire to play it. I've got very limited playtime, so no point in playing it. Yeah, Blue, the, the start could be kind of rough. But the beginning is, the, is what I think is the most fun. Can I fit a toolkit and a mid kit in there? Alright, I can. But will let me do unlimited heals. I don't think I really need that right now though, so let's just grab a toolkit though. So I can do limited repairs on vehicles. Yeah, it's what passes for a home base right now. And I haven't looked at any numbers as far as player base. But I mean anytime a new game comes out, people are gonna go play it for a while. And they'll go back. I mean, they're very, very different railroad games, so there's room for both. All right, we got that a uh, little bit fixed. Let's do a restore on everybody. Make sure everybody's all healed up and good. All right, everybody good? Petros, buddy? Try not to get killed out here, all right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if there are any caves. I mean, they you can fake a cave, like, having rocks and stuff. The real virtuality engine doesn't do underground. I should have saved again right before I headed it out. Oh, well. All right, any cars down here? There's a lot of vehicles driving around. I don't see too many on the roads just because the map is pretty spread out. It's not a lot of side streets. Where's the local uh, patrol here? All these bushes out in the distance look like bad guys. Oh, that's not even the town. That's just the village. Never mind. There won't be cars here. Oh, I didn't take my loot box, did I? I forgot it. Ate it. Good call. Yeah, there's caves, but they're faked. I mean, they're not actual caves. You can fake it with, like, rocks and stuff. The engine itself doesn't support negative space. That's what it meant. Yeah, let's grab a loot box. I always forget that. I'm not used to, like in the normal version, any crate you get off anybody is basically a loot box. At least that's the way it used to be. Hey, Petros. We're back because I'm dumb. I forgot a loot box. Luckily, the chat PA. Actually, do I have enough money? Yeah, it's a hundred bucks, man. We're we're poor right now, but it does make it a lot easier. Unfortunately, when you gather it up, it like eats the loot box. I don't think you get that money back. I could be wrong. It doesn't put it in here anywhere, does it? Nope. I think it just it costs you a hundred dollars to be able to gather a loot. Like that's the cost of the convenience. Keep forgetting this is based on plus, so I can just save from anywhere. 
here? No, it's on game options. There it is. Yeah, I did the build box on uh, Mild and Frederick. Put some emplacements around our base late game. I guess with Plus not getting updated, the Ultimate will probably be based more on the um, community version. They added, I saw they added the build system for community, the build boxes and whatnot. All right, so any town that has like an icon is considered a town by Andy Stasi. So it will have patrols and vehicles spawning, and that's a, a decent amount of police right there. We're almost out of gas, fellas. Oh, I forgot to grab the extra ammo. I've only got f five mags. Got to do the fire on my order thing. Trying to hide behind that power pole. Yeah, that was a recent change, Frederick, in one of the recent patches. They completely changed the way you do builds. All right, good job, boys. Arm on the bush. Arm on the bush. So they still have their good guns. I need to pick up a good... Oh, there's two more patrols down there. Well, crap. Thought we got them all. How many dang police are down there? Move closer, kids. Watch my back, boys. What's up, Dave? Arma is spanking us hard. We're persevering. Before I could even drop my first save, they had killed Petros. Because a random patrol spawned right next to my base. Like 100 meters from Petros. <laughs> It just walked in and murdered him. So other than that, it's going great. I'm just going to let these guys go. What kind of gun did you have? Oh, you had an ADR. Nice. I will throw that on the ground. I'm going to take your vest. Take your first aid kit. Take all this stuff back. 
Didn't need that. Fellas, grab what you might need. Somewhere over here, those other two clowns ran. There they go. They're way out there. What are they doing? Running away? Oh, I winged him. Oh, they're headed that way. Yeah, basically a P90. ADR 97 Charlie. 5.7 millimeters of raw goodness. Or something like that. Fellers, go. I see you. Civilians like I'm out of here. All right, let's go get their loot, boys. Is that a Stargate reference? Just looking for Richard Dean Anderson and we'll get this party started. Oh my gosh. There seem to be a lot of random patrols in the wild, so I've been keeping an eye out. Is this single player online? I'm playing it single player, but you can play it co-op. So it's me and AI versus other AI. But you can play it co-op with up to like 16 players, something like that. Or probably even more. Did they use P90 and Stargate? I haven't seen a whole lot of Stargate. Just a few episodes, maybe. Ah, right, get out of here. What'd you have? Do you have a helmet? You did have a helmet for me. Appreciate it. All right, guys, pick up, pick up stuff. Everybody should have a radio now. No excuse for not having a radio. Nope. Nobody's going to do anything. No sorcery. Yeah, I know you can't rearm your primary weapon. You could pick up a helmet or an armored vest, you know, just, just saying. There's a tactical vest right there. Uh, let's see. Go to the closest inventory. I think the rearm is like broken. I don't know if that's an ultimate thing or just the the latest patch, maybe. All right, fine. I will I will manually do your inventory for you here, Mister AI. Oh, you already have a radio, so that's good. Give you a pistola. Give you your grenades back. You got first aid kits. All right, now you're good. Same. What about them? I'm on top. Oh, 
دریافت شد Which inventory? Are you gonna go to this inventory? Probably not, since that's the one I told you to go to. Oh, you did! Look at you! You get a vest. Everybody gets a vest. You already have a radio. You did pick up a helmet. Good for you. Or actually, I might have given you that last time. We'll give you a pistol as well, just for fun. You're not taking the pistol ammo, though. Interesting. Okay. Alright, what do I need out of here? I basically... I guess those have got some decent attachments, so we can come get this loot. Alright, back to the truck, boys. Back at the guru. Back at the guru. I'm not sure what language you're speaking, Zerg. We are the Tura. Is uh, I don't know if that's a made-up faction or if it's based on something real. Let's get our truck. Let's get some loot gathered up. East. Can you down? Savor show. And join me down. What's the backstory on this? Uh, there's not really a backstory, just your rebels, you want to take back your land that's been occupied by an, by an occupying force. And you can play several different modes. You can play where it's just you versus one faction, which is how I usually play. Or you can play you versus the faction that's occupying your land, and then there's also an invading faction. So in this case, we have CSAT invading from the northeast. And we have AAF that's occupying. So the goal is to take over the map for your own faction. What's up, buddy? And I've, I've streamed this a lot. We just finished up Malden, what, a week or two ago? Took over the Malden map. It was about 15 streams or so, I think. They're all in playlists. Everything I do is in a playlist, if it's any kind of a series. So you can always check the playlist on my channel, see something you like. All right, we got the loots. Uh, we busted our undercover status, so we can't go undercover anymore. Actually, is this is this considered a fence? Yeah, okay, interesting. It's basically just a retextured fence. It's a uh, palm frond fence, I'm guessing. Okay, so we have a van. We don't have anything else really interesting here. I think this is just a regular van. Yeah, it's just a cargo van. Just don't spawn with anything. Oops. Yeah, it could be Blue Cow. There's a website, antistasi.de. 
and it has tons of info and guides on how to play. So if you're interested, definitely go check that out. There's a lot to it. Is that a civilian? That's just a Jeep. Yeah, it's just a civvy. All right, so we have a radio tower. We don't have a whole lot of other towns, unfortunately. We've got an outpost down there. It's a big, a big flipping airbase. Yeah, the cars are worth like 25 bucks, I think. They're not worth very much. And yeah, they are spread out. We're almost out of gas, so this is not good. <laughs> I probably should just head back. Where's the near? Oh, no, there's a the fuel right here. Let's see if we can make it to the fuel station. Problem is, I'm not undercover. We might die. Because I can't go undercover, so. Well, actually, nobody's looking at us out here. I think my vehicle's been reported, though. If I take off all my military stuff. I hop out. Can I myself go undercover? No, I've been recently reported. All right. That's kind of what I thought. So what I could do, though, is repack my mag real quick. Greed kills the Kerbo. Hey, we just need some fuel, man. We're almost out of gas. I have enough. I'm not sure if I even got enough to get to the gas station. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Let's head back to base. We've got trucks with more fuel. We don't have enough to make it back to base. I mean, we don't have enough to make it to the fuel station. So we're heading back to base. That's what I meant to say. English is art. I could steal this guy's Jeep, but he seems like a nice guy. He's just out for a little drive in his Jeep. He's got the top down, having a good time. And we could try a uh, support mission here. That would get us a little cash. Okay, Chad, if we can't make it back to base, you're going to have to get out and push. I know there's no fuel. Chill, chill out. Wait, how do we get back up to $400? Yeah, thanks, guys. Like, I didn't notice we're almost out of fuel. <laughs> I know I earned a little bit. Just for surviving. Uh, Alright, everybody out. Get this room. Got your option. How's that up? Unload the cargo. Throw you in the garage. Should have just siphoned some fuel out of the van. Yeah, that's not an option unless you're playing with Ace Mod. Um, let's see. So I have 400. Yeah, so that takes the loot, but we don't get our money back. Right. Okay, one of these had a bunch of fuel. This one is full of fuel, but we can't go 
under or can we? Can we go undercover in this? It doesn't have any guns on it. Is it considered military? We do a restore. Oh, let's fix the darn thing too. No, it's considered a military vehicle. All right. Just says off road though. Do -do 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 -do. We can also buy fuel, I think. Yeah, I can buy a fuel drum for $2,000, but I don't have $2,000 right now, so there's that. Okay, this has a bunch of fuel. What if I change this to... quote-unquote normal truck without a bad guy paint scheme? We do that? Is it still considered a military vehicle? Make sure everybody's restored. No. Yeah, it's an, it's considered a non-civilian vehicle, just as the base class. So even if you paint it, all right, got it. It's considered a. Uh, Military vehicle. Now we know. So we'll just put paint back on it. So we know it's a military vehicle. That's fine. We can use that later on at some point. Bad is a point of view. Yep. This guy has got 28% fuel. We can, we can use this. So yeah, beige. And we're going to get it in our normal setup here. Oh, only certain trucks have the snorkel option. Interesting. Okay. Fair enough. All right. I'm not going to take a loot box because we're so low on money. Let's see if we can make it down there and get a f this full truck of fuel. Yet, I don't think you can tow and be undercover. Enemy comms intercepted somehow. I still don't know what that means. Nobody's ever been able to tell me what that means. We got seven dollars though. Oh, that's the name of the map. Safru Ramal. I'm sure I said that wrong. It's the Western Sahara DLC. Nice map. It's a great looking map. The performance is good. It's a little spread out, but yeah, let's head out down to the gas station. We'll get some gas. We'll get some snacks. Slam into a Slim Jim. Oh, look what I see. Oh, I thought that was the cargo variant. It's the ambulance version. Bummer. There's a repair truck that looks a lot like that. Repair van. Thought we had gotten lucky. Ma, she shot me. up. Yeah, the police patrols have respawned. I see him. Stay cool, guys. Stay cool. Don't act all weird. The police is going to pick up on that. So, yeah, being a desert map, it is quite sparse. <laughs> There's not a whole lot out here. What's the sign say? Attention, Camel's Crossing. Really? I don't 
don't see any camels. All I see is snakes. Alright, there's the radio tower. Great sniping map, too, with the lack of foliage. Hopefully we can refuel without busting undercover. We get to the gas station. That's awesome. It's like a walled compound. Oh, is that considered a military base? Ruh row. Oh, the fuel station is at a resource point? That's just. That's just playing dirty. Game. That's just playing dirty. That's not fair. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go down to the main road. Hopefully we can drive past this and not bust cover. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good here, folks. Nothing to see. Just a truck full of dudes getting snacks at the gas station. That's all. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see. Yeah, that's just mean, Adam. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I didn't didn't zoom in enough. Notice it was inside a resource point. This one's just in a town, so. Put this one up. Oh, there's a van back there. We'll have to scour the streets here, see what vehicles they've got. Alright, can I pull in here and get gas without causing any problems? Sweet. They're not big on side streets around here, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get for vehicles here. We got a. I think that's just a regular van over there. I might have turned the vehicles down too low. I thought I was turning down the civilians that drive around. Maybe I turned down the wrong thing. Yeah, just that one van. Bummer, dude. Pretty sure that's just a regular van. Everybody stay cool. Everybody stay cool. All right, where's the next town? There's actually a town right up here by the airbase. Apparently a road back over here. Ah, here we go. Pretty close to the airbase, so don't know that we want to get too close. I 
Not seeing a whole lot vehicle wise. Yeah, a van could be useful just for transport, but I think it only carries like two people. It doesn't let you carry people in the back like you would expect. So that's why I haven't been picking up the vans. I guess we could pick one up and see what it sells for. Maybe it's different in Ultimate. We could grab a car. Those could be handy for high speed. Now, can he get back to base? Not being stupid. Probably a tall order. We'll see what happens. No, no, no. Because they can get busted as well. They drive too close or they crash into an outpost or something crazy. Alright. Where are you going, buddy? Any more vehicles over here? Ooh, what's that? That's a wreck. There's a lot of wrecks on this map. Saw a truck, got excited. Magic 8 Ball says, Prospects dim. We got more towns. There's more towns. And if you go out of like one kilometer, then it'll respawn stuff. So you can't just drive around the map until you find what you want. I've done that before, but I know that's not terribly exciting content for a stream. So how close are we? That's yeah, pretty far away, actually. Oh, so he was taking that back road. Oh, I got gotcha. you. All right, let's head back for base. I think I'm going to have three grab this van and take it. Oh, you can't get there from here? No, there's a road here. And we'll see what these cars are worth. I think in the, in the base mod, they're just like 25 bucks a piece. See, and it says task failed. Enemy comms. I, I have no idea what that means. Same. Apparently we failed something. Alright, three, I need to drink water, but let's get you going back to the base. And he's off. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Go back to base. Yes, I know, there's infantry. It's okay, just don't run them over. Don't look him in the eye. So is this the best way back to base? I guess we can just follow him. In theory, it's the best way back to base. Their pathfinding is any good. This goes right past the airbase, doesn't it? Whoa! We're toast. <laughs> run, three, run! Serpentine! Yeah, we got too close to the airbase. No! Must not be any machine gun nests around. That's good. All right, everybody hold fire. Don't antagonize anybody. Oh, 
just play it cool. Does he keep turning around? I'm not sure. I'm not sure where we're going. I'm lost. We're headed north. That's got to be right. I don't know why three stopped. Am I even headed back to base? Yeah, I'm headed back to base. I just need a bear to the left up here. I don't know what three is doing. Somehow we didn't die yet. Three. Buddy? Did he get lit up? It's a way back to base. Oh, three's no longer. Did I accidentally click something? Who knows? He was no longer being told to move. Oh, he got out of his van. Why did you get out of your van? Uh, okay, we're hurting cats. Did you get blown up? I think he might have got shot. His van's still there. Okay, fine, whatever. Yeah, three's down. That's why it was not going back to base. Those guys don't know we're up here, but somebody over here was shooting at us. Those guys were. Got that one. Now who's shooting at us? Those guys are alerted. Holy crap. That's mortar fire, buddy. Get in! Dude! Dude! Yeah, dude! <laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch of guys down there. I don't think we can get three. Unfortunately, I think three is kind of on his own. Yeah, there's that whole resource point down there is going to light us up. I'm sorry, three. That sound like, <clears throat> excuse me, that sound like a mortar round. Maybe I was, maybe I was wrong. Four, three. Rest in peace. Yeah, he's down. He hesitated at the corner. If he hadn't hesitated, and just kept going. He eventually got shot out at him, but I, I think just because he stopped. Woohoo! That's good on the suspension. Like, we passed him. He stopped at that intersection. I think he was pathfinding. And then he got shot out because he stopped. truck over there.
Yeah, he ran the gauntlet and tripped. Exactly. Oh, is there a mortar spot in there somewhere, Blue? All right. I swore I heard a mortar round come over my head. So I figured that was a good time to not be there. Oh, we got bad guys. Just passing through, fellas. Don't mind us. Just passing through. Sorry about your dog. Two's like, hey! <laughs> Well, we got a full tank of gas, but we lost three. He's still, he's still not dead dead. It's just down. I'd probably lose my other two guys and possibly myself trying to rescue him. So he hesitated right next to a resource point, unfortunately. All right, what's this sell for? Uh, commander, sell vehicle. Ooh, $100. Okay. Well, that's probably worth it then to gather those up. They're worth a lot more. Pretty sure they're only 25 bucks in the uh, community version. You know what I could do is I could cheat. I could say fast travel to here. It would bring three over here and I could revive him. I'm going to do it. I'm a dirty cheater. The game already cheated though. It spawned a patrol 100 meters from Petros. Alright, get him back up. The key is to out-cheat Arma. <laughs> Don't hesitate next time, three. Okay? You just, you plow on through, buddy. All right, let's get everybody restored. Then drop a save. And let's see if we can do a uh, supply mission, get some, some goodwill. And I think that is this one. Yeah, deliver supplies. And this is the one we filled up? No, this is the one we filled up. Actually, we're gonna be rolling in dirty anyway, so we'll just take this one. Like we're gonna be fighting. There's, there's no way around that. Can I get my guys in here with that stuff? No, I can only take one guy with me. Awesome. <laughs> Three and four, once you run down and uh, help us out, I'm just going to have them run down here to like here. And they might be able to join us. Whoa! Don't try to get killed right off the bat. Yeah, speed up if you're going to hit a deer. I need to steal one of those bigger, like, little flatbed trucks. Those you can get a few guys in, plus the crate. So if you're not familiar with Andy Stassi, this mission, you got to take this crate down to a specific town and then defend it for like three minutes. And then that gains you support in that town. Plus, I think you get paid some cash. If you get the town support swung over to your side, then they won't spawn police patrols and stuff like that. All right, let's play peekaboo with police here. There's a box truck. Couple police dudes. Do, you have this room? Fahmi dam. Amma dam.
Dang, he's tough. Got a few. We're back behind the bushes now. Do, the Vismet Harakat Kun, Jolom. Doram Yom. Do, Amade Dagribosh. Amadam. Do, Sharsat Met Harakat Kun. I didn't take cover in that rubble there. I get a better angle on these guys. I know they're not all down. They were reviving each other. Can't see through those bushes, though. I did finish off that last guy. Or I'm about to get wasted from somewhere. Oh, maybe I got him. That last bullet. Uh, three minutes. We got to keep the area clear of hostiles for three minutes. I would expect more people to show up. See what happens. Just going to get some of the aggression down if I can. Reviving these dudes. Letting them go. Keep that aggression low early is what I like to do. That keeps their response from being too swift and too powerful. Oh, you got a vermin. What did you pick up then? said rearm. Yeah, I'm not sure. They both had vermin. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, they spawned right there. Nice. Got him. Luckily, they didn't reset the count. They were not here. They, they had to just spawn here. I swear. Game cheats. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't see them somehow, and they didn't see me. I literally drove the truck up here and unloaded the crate like two minutes ago. Hey, we'll get some more gear. Gets easier once you get some basic vests and helmets unlocked. Back on, control. 
They just spawned a police truck behind me. Literally a police truck full of bad guys just spawned right there. <laughs> That's not fair, game. It's not fair at all. Grenades are pretty effective. Holy crap! <laughs> that reminds me, I was going to look into which uh, different blast core to get some better explosions, but that was pretty good. Holy crap! Oh, 10 more seconds. All right, let's make sure we get this cleared. Yay, we did it. All right. How much you got 300 bucks. Very nice. All right, he got him back up. Excellent. Good job for the uh, secondaries there, boys. Oh, there's their dang dog. Dog is just a soldier in a dog skin. They will report you and all kinds of stuff. Can't treat yourself. Three, buddy, just Sam, chill out. Shut it up. I have a first aid kit. I can't treat you. It says you're red. I don't think you're actually red. All right, regroup. Everybody go back to chill and everybody pick up stuff. Everybody should have a helmet and a vest. No excuses. There you go. Two's picking up a helmet. Three's picking up a helmet. And three. All right, good. Two, three, and four. They all got helmets. Two's getting the vest. Excellent work, gentlemen. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a loot crate. That's kind of a bummer. And these crates, I don't think you can even pick them up. Yeah, you can't do anything with these crates. What if I have three check-in? There we go. That updates the status. That's good to know. Yeah, okay. All right, find some cover, fellas. I'm going to be gathering loot. No, that wasn't John Wick's dog. I'm not crazy. Actually, this works better. It's faster if you're inside a vehicle. And we got them on our side. Excellent. I'm going to have to gather loot by hand, unfortunately. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I just don't want to spend the hundred dollars on a loot crate right now. It's the only problem. A little low on funds. Your binoculars away, you goober. <laughs> they just lay down in the middle of the road. It's not what I meant when I said find cover, guys. Not exactly what I had in mind. Chahar, run and in. Savor show. Oh! 
Do 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 do. Oh, it works, Darkwind. I'm just. I don't like to do that like right at the beginning. I kind of like to put the effort in before I start using strips to gather the loot. If that makes sense. So I'll use the loot hoover like, you know, mid to late game when it's when I put in my time. <laughs> All right, four, take that vehicle back to base, please. We could use a box truck. All right, I got that, I got that. Don't need a smoke grenade, thanks though. This guy just croaked. For whatever reason, if you're in a vehicle, the loot transfers way faster. Don't know why, it's just one of those armor things. This will be well on our way to getting like radios and stuff unlocked. These guys have a ton of stuff. Not sure when that message came through, but yeah, we'll just sent him on with the box truck. Okay, I think, oops, I think this guy is the last dude. Unless there's something left on this guy. Uh, yeah, there's a vermin. We'll take it. Nice to have the radios unlocked. Oh no, I had these guys down here too. I forgot about them. It's a lot of loot. All right, four made it back to base. Good deal. I'm gonna have him go ahead and get out and just chill. Forgot to, forgot to dump my loot. Oh, the truck is almost full. Oh, nice. He had an ADR. Beautiful. Let's roll. Run away! Yeah, I think all the civilian vehicles sell for the same amount. So car, box truck, whatever. I think they're all just the base amount, which apparently in, in Ultimate is $100. Pretty sure it's just $25 in community version. All right, we got a metric butt ton of loot here. So let's get that back to base. And we did make some decent money. It's so our next run out. We can take the, the loot crate. Makes things a lot easier.
Yeah, it'd be too easy to cheese, though, because the vehicles are infinite. New ones spawn in anytime you get within a kilometer of a city. New vehicles spawn in, so it's just to limit the amount of cheese. You can already cheese pretty hard, but they've got rid of a lot of the cheese mechanics. Like, if you go watch Anastasia videos, like two or three years ago, you could literally walk undercover, walk into a base... And just walk out with the arsenal crate. <laughs> it was so easy to cheese, and people would do that. It's not really the way I want to play. Oh, CSAT's kicking butt. Uh oh. CSAT moving in. CSAT now has both air bases. We might be fighting CSAT mid to late game from the looks of it. Okay, you get in the garage. You get in the garage. I need to get my toolkit back. It's, these things are damaged. Okay, everybody's got vests and helmets, I think. So I think we need to go out and kick some butt. Bye, God, big guru. Take out an out, not an outpost, but like a roadblock or something. Uh, do we seriously not unlock anything, or did I just did I just miss the message? Don't need that. Don't need that. Oops, I do need the forty-five. Oh no, I don't. I've got the ADR. How are we doing on helmets? Only three basic helmets from that? What? I guess my guys are wearing them. <laughs> what about vests? Oh, that's backpacks. What about vests? Oh, we we got a lot of tactical vests. Nice. I don't remember if I set it to 15 or 25. Does it tell me in here somewhere? Do, 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 do. I don't know how much it costs. Upgrade. Oh, I did leave it at default 25. So we've got a ways to go on the unlocks, but we're over halfway there on the vest, so that's cool. How many factions are there? On the map, there's three. There's me, and then there's the two enemy factions. Yeah, it's 25, Adam, unfortunately. We got a, a little ways to go. But I would say, let's go get some more gear. Our base kind of sucks. <laughs> but hey, we got this town on our side, so there'll be no more police spawning there. Which is both good and bad. Got a mine down there or something. I'm not super happy with this base location, really. It looked better when I was picking it here but now it's looking pretty poor there's an outpost right there unfortunately not a whole lot of choices really for base locations there's just not very many roads I guess we're just gonna have to suck it up and we're gonna have to travel a ways to uh, get anywhere, so. Alright. No, I don't need to build up the base. I don't have the money, I don't have the resources, and we're not staying here. That's the last thing I need to do is build up the base. Uh, the boxer truck can hold three. Only can ride in the front. Alright. This guy is almost out of gas. This guy has plenty of fuel. I think it says anywhere here on whether this is considered military or not. But we know this one is should be fine, so we'll take this one. And it's got gas in it. 
How much longer? I'm not sure, Adam. Maybe another hour. We'll see. Oh, I didn't grab a. Let me grab a toolkit. I'm actually just grab my starter, my starter gear. Leave the guys with their normal stuff. I'm gonna actually redo starter. I think. How many mags can I get in if I take a toolkit with me? Yeah, I think that'll be my new starter gear, so let's do that. If we break down, yeah, it would suck not to have a toolkit. Still got eight mags plus one that's in the gun. Yeah, baby steps. Is it is it nine nine inch nails thirty four? Baby steps. This is like a slow burn start. You start with almost nothing. And this is actually, for me, the most fun part of the campaign. Once you get built up, it becomes more of a logistics simulator where you're moving squads around. and It's not as much fun as scrapping it out. Mono a mono. I'm going to move that map marker. Actually, no, that's the town we're going to, so that's fine. Take a loot crate. Yeah, I guess I just hate spending money on it. But yeah, I guess I guess we'll take a loot crate. Just for you, Blue. <laughs> it would make it easier. I just I hate to spend money on it. But if we get into a big scrap, it'll be worth it to pull in the loot easier. And that's something I'm not used to. I've I usually don't play plus or ultimate, and uh, like any like I said earlier, any dropped crate you can use, you can put it in your truck, you can gather gear with it. So I'm not used to having to buy a loot crate. Yeah, I already saved before we headed out. Actually, one thing I like about Plus and, Ult or, and Ultima is you can save from anywhere. You just hit Tab. You don't have to do that at your base. Yeah, we need to steal like one car. That'll offset the, the loot crate. You're not wrong. Yeah, Blue, it's hit or miss on the auto rearm. Sometimes it works brilliantly. Like earlier, they all picked up helmets and vests. And other times, they like they just won't pick them up. They'll stand there with a PDW and not pick up a Mark 20. So earlier at the beginning, I had to manually walk each of them up to a crate and have them take a machine gun. <laughs> but come on, guys. I know you like the PDW, but... Oh, the other thing I didn't do was a garbage clean. We can do a garbage clean. Uh, is that on the Y menu? Commander, clean garbage. Boink. Get rid of all the bodies and stuff. Oh, that doesn't get rid of the crates. Interesting. Okay. Got crates laying all over the place. I guess because the loot crate gets rid of those normally. SUV. What are you trying to do? I like this map, but the uh, drive distances are pretty huge. Great looking map though. Pretty well designed and runs fantastically. 
probably mostly due to the lack of foliage. Just not nearly as many objects. See, this is my Alt R. Pick up the frame rate. Yeah, I'm getting like a hundred frames a second. CPU and GPU are barely breathing. Because Arma's single core, so never gonna see much over 20% CPU. Well, it's not exactly single core. It's mostly single core, I should say. Nails for short. Okay, I was thinking, because you've been in here before, right? I was thinking it was nine inch nails. Blow past the resource points. Holy crap! <laughs> uh, welcome to Arma. So what happens is it spawns in vehicles, but the uh, the engine. It spawns in vehicles. I think they always point north. So it spawns them in pointing north, and then it'll rotate them to the direction they're supposed to be. So a lot of times when you get uh, vehicles close together, you get that. They spawn in, rotate, explode, and then they go flying across the map. Good stuff. And I took the wrong road. I don't actually want to be this close to the airbase. Uh, we got busted last time doing that. But, and also, CSAT is attacking them, so we don't really want to be near here. The crap. Got too close. We're all going to die. So there's an actual AI versus AI battle going on at that airbase right now. Fellas, we're coming up to a town here. I think this road loops around into the town. So look alive. And there went our frame rate. So we got a bunch of action going on now. parked here. It's way too quiet up here. Where's the enemy patrols? <laughs> Okay. I'm not sure what that was all about. Yeah, that was a lot of fun streaming uh, Railroader. It was it was actually a perfect timing for them to send me a key early to that, because I happened to have time that weekend and the. I had a few days there where I could stream a lot, so that was perfect. Got another uh, Railroader video coming out tomorrow, 8 a.m. Central. It's a doozy, too. Where is 
is everybody? There should be lots of police patrols around here. Unless it pulled everybody down into the battle that was going on down there. This is just weird. City should be crawling with like town patrols. I don't understand. What the heck is going on here? Is the game broken? No, they're just not in the town. Okay, it's not broken. Good to know. It's not in the town itself for whatever reason. They went home early. It's a Friday. They just didn't feel like fighting. You get myself a helmet and a vest again. These fences are a problem because the AI can see right through those and I can't. But luckily my AI can see them. They can see through them. Oh crap. Contact! Where are they at, boys? No idea. I'm not going to lie, that scared me a little bit. Guy came out of nowhere. Do, what about them? Do, what about them? Same, what about them? I can hear the enemy. They're right up here somewhere. Hope my guys can suss them out. Get him, boys. Got him. You're, oh, you just had a cap. You you have a tack vest, so that's good. Got a radio again. Uh, he's got a sting. I almost like the sting better. Let's just take that. Let use both of those. Oh, no, the 16 round mags for the pistol. Got it. What's up, Roland? Good or lucky? <laughs> Form up. Form back up, guys. Told you it was a trap. Yeah, I was, 
I was expecting it. That's why I was peeking around the fence. Like, they shot at us. They're probably flanking. I've got so many rounds. But you got the, the 45, though. All right, we'll see if my dudes need anything. Yo, fellas. The problem is we're fighting town cops, which don't have 5.56. Five, My guys are carrying 5.56. Five, five, so. Oops. There we go. Let's hit the red button. Are you guys stuck? You're stuck on this crate. What the heck's going on here? Yeah, they're stuck on the crate because, you know, Arma. <laughs> yeah, they're literally stuck because of this crate. Crazy as that. Alright, two. This is where I wish I could... Move the box. What the heck? Now I'm stuck. Shoot through the fence at him. Let's be another patrol up here. Apparently there's a lot of bad geometry over here. Where are they at, fellas? I used to have a script that would fix that. I don't think I've got that anymore. I think I looked for that earlier. I don't remember this, the code off the top of my head to bring them all to me. Uh, let me see. Who is stuck? Two and three? I don't like using this because it can break things, but I'll just control them. Control them manually, get them off here. And then three. What a heli? I think they're behind these fences and I just can't see them. Get them, boys. Fall back. Move 75 meters. They Run. ran out in front of the gas station because something weird with the pathing around this building. Two is down. Well, crap. Let's get some smoke out. Yeah, this place is so broken. Out of ammo. Two of my guys are down. Suppressive fire. Oh, he's taking hits. The trap again. <laughs> Everything's a trap. It's right there. Shoot him. Shoot him. I think he's out of ammo. Ow. Somebody's going to get hurt. You keep doing that. Man, 
Oh, he's down again. Somebody shoot him. He's right there. Try shooting him with bullets. Instead of just shooting around him. <laughs> Fall back. Let's go, fellas. We need some cover. Attack heli moving in on the airfield. Might have hit that tree. So out of breath from running up here. I think I finally got him. God dang, boys. Take cover. Dari option. Yeah, what's this cover thing? You're probably laying in the middle of the road. Fast mover. One and a half clicks. What the what the battle going on down there? Yeah, the CSAT's offloading troops, and we'll try to stay out of that mess. I want the 45. Oh, no. sure. okay. I've got so much 9mm rounds, I think we'll just stick with this thing. Yeah, I don't want that helicopter to spot us. That'd be bad news. Hold fire! Last thing we need to attract CSAT attention. I told you they'd be laying in the middle of the road. Oh, somebody got it. Too bad he already offloaded all the troops. That would be a lot of good, a lot of good cover. Or, uh, that's a lot of good cover, a lot of good uh, loot. Return to formation. At least they were off to the side of the road. That's kind of undercover, right? Guys are about out of ammo. We need to head. We need to head back. Oh, he's got an ADR. That'll work. Don't need the sting. We don't really need too much of this. Didn't have a helmet, right? We use a tactical vest. Back to the tactical vest go. There we go. I forgot. Did this guy up here have a tactical vest? I should grab that too. We need to. We need to get the guys back to starter gear. I think because they're out of ammo. They're good guns.
I can stick a vermin in the vest. Nice. <laughs> Alright, we parked over here somewhere. Yeah, no ammo. That's not good. Yeah, we parked over here. All right. I thought I was going the right direction. Just making sure. go the way my guys can go or they'll get all confused probably. Well, we kind of rebounded from that terrible start. Rip Petros. In that vehicle. You done been busted. Dang, they're beelining for us. Oh, that's like an IFV. We're dead. We're so dead. Why are you coming over here? You're so dead. Hi. How's it going? Yeah, just, uh, we're just chilling. Not much going on over here. How about you? Doing good with your giant gun? <laughs> We're gonna die. No, no, not like this. Oh, we can't fit through. The, we can't fit through that gap. Just, yeah, just go away. Leave us alone. There's nothing to see over here, sir. Yeah, play it cool. We're not undercover, though. Can't even play it cool. All right, we're just gonna have to make a run for it. Where's base? Ooh. Base is way over there. Just that direction. Sweet. At least that's where the bad guy with the giant gun is. All right, speed, violence, momentum. Let's see where he went. Yeah, my foot's not coming off the gas pedal till we're dead. Yeah, nothing to see here. <laughs> I don't know why he came rocking up. I guess we were on somebody's radar. Uh, we lost the town. Yeah, we're bravely running away like Sir Robin. The guy's like, we got him, boss! <laughs> I was thinking... 
Yeah, we're past the airfield. So we can just bomb across the desert. Totally not crash and explode. Get these guys back in some starter gear. I was pretty sure we were going to die right then. Used a little bit of stealth. I was hoping he would not attack me through the giant... Oh, crap. Through the giant stone wall. It's all good. It's all good. We're okay. You're an ambulance, not the repair version, so we're going to ignore you. bit of uh, drift here. I think we're back in friendly territory. Woo. Holy crap. Things were lighting up down there at the airfield. Yeah, that's why I picked beige. We're just going to blend in. Petros, we made it back. Yeah, friendly fire is not friendly. Incoming fire has the right of way. Dismount. And jump me down. Oh, madam. Digging out of him. Oh, madam. Be Mohammed Nias got up. Yeah, what he said. Exactly. All right, you guys go. Get in that no, bed. no. Okay, fine. That will probably work. It's not what I wanted, but that will probably work. Why are you being weird, game? Um, okay, so we want to... Unfortunately, we have to do this. So uh, six, and then inventory. Put all your stuff. You don't have unlocked in the truck. Like that. And then number three. Same thing. Four. You got all kinds of stuff. Look at you. And I can just make sure I don't have anything laying on the ground. Yep, no loot. Hey, we unlocked the vermin mag. <laughs> Good for us. All right. Uh, have you guys hop out. Put this in the garage. It should put all that stuff in the arsenal. Yeah. Now I need to get these guys rearmed. Kind of tempted to... I mean, it would... It, I can dismiss them and rebuy them, but then it costs money. They are fairly cheap. All right, how are we doing on vests? We got 20. Oh, we just need four more vests. We are rocking the vests. Not so, not so much on the helmets yet. Nowhere close on any of the guns. I'm just debating on do I want to arm them. 
manually or just I think I'll just dismiss them. It's been real, fellas. Take it easy. At least on this version, it doesn't say get out of my sight, you useless scum. I like that. I always hated that about the game. These are your brothers in arms. Call them scum. It's not good. Not cool. You forget I can just do this. Okay, so. That town is on our side. That's good. What's strange is I haven't really seen many roadblocks yet. There's been a few. But man, we're going to have to go like deep into enemy territory to get to anywhere. Something I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of this location. I like the starter location. I didn't like the fact that they spawned an enemy patrol right here and they went over there and killed Petros. That's not good. So I don't know. I'm almost tempted to go back down there. Because it's such a long drive. Oh well. Um, I think what I might do is grab a medic. Be advised. Reinforcements couple have arrived. dudes. Reinforcements have arrived. Be advised. Yeah, 4% fuel. I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> Would love to find a few, at least a fuel truck, but I've not seen a single one yet. I guess we'll go out marauding a little more. Um, there would be roadblocks along here anywhere. Okay, so we need to take a left here. This way gets us busted at the air at the airfield. Got it. Oh, I didn't get a loot crate, did I? Um, actually, did I get my money back for the loot crate? Or does that come from the tour of money? Which money does that come from? Yeah, okay, it comes from the Torah money. Maybe I got my, maybe you do get your money back. Maybe it just takes a while for it to show up. Yeah, we'll take a loot crate. Off we go again. Oh, it's up, is it? Oh man, it's almost 9.30. No wonder I'm yawning. I usually set the unlock number to 15 since I play solo, but I thought I'd go mostly vanilla this time. Wow! <laughs> that rock blends right in. Oh, brother. Yeah, doing good so far. Doing great. Hit all the wrong buttons. Alright, Mr. Medic. Oh, we got a heli in the air. Tell if that's, I think that's a, a military heli. Two, heal that soldier.
Two, heal that soldier. Two, heal that soldier. Guess that Matt heal himself. First, heal squad leader. There it is. Heal that soldier. Team leader gets treated last. Make sure your guys are okay. Leadership 101. Okay. Let's try that again. With Lus running into rocks. To be fair, that rock blended perfectly into the sand. We got a box truck up here. Hey, with all that battle going on down there, let's go ahead and do another uh, garbage clean. That could be super handy. I think, if it works the same way as normal. If I get in that and out, that will save there until I like stop the game. It makes it persistent per session. If a player gets in and out. So in theory, that truck will be there when we come back, even if we go out of spawn range, which we're going to do pretty quickly. So I'm not very familiar with CSAT equipment. I'm not sure what that thing was that came at us, but it had a big gun, so it was scary. looking over there. There's nothing there. Just a whole lot of sand. Where I always turn the wrong direction? No, that goes to the radio tower. I need to take a left by the resource point. So tempting to run over those guys. Oh crap, they have a dog. Don't look, don't look. No! Okay, I think we made it. Alright, so this is how we get to the highway without getting busted. I kind of wanted to buzz down the highway. There's an outpost down there. I wonder if there's any roadblocks. Yeah, there's a roadblock up there. They have decent equipment. How close are they to the base, though? Yeah, I need a I need a snipper rifle. Do some snipping. So we got that radio tower to our left. We got an outpost right over the hill. No cover. Say that's a bad idea.
Plus, they're going to have different stuff. If we if we just need one more police vest, and then we'll have at least an armor level two vest unlocked. So I think our best bet is still the uh, town patrols. Once you've got helmets and vests, even the basic stuff unlocked, it really helps. Because then your guys will spawn with them, usually. Oh wow, there's a lot of patrols around that base. Oh hey, how's it going there, Roadblock? Didn't even uh, see you there. Don't mind us. We're just passing through. looking for vehicles down here. I see, much. I see some town patrols, though. Ooh, there's a red pickup truck. Bad to have. Yeah, everybody stay cool. out there just in case now in theory I can hop out of here and still be undercover do 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 just bird watching in theory this won't get me in trouble no oh, crap apparently you can't steal vehicles in this version Disembark. at him through the building. Beautiful. Return to formation. Shot the crap out of my truck. Ooh, crap. Ow! Calling freaking mortars on us? It's not fair. They're gonna get so lost in, this, in the buildings. Apparently the concussion just knocked me down. The glad boys. Get ready. How to get? I end up with no smoke grenades. How'd that happen? I grab my standard loadout. Maybe I messed something up. Okay, better him. 
برید بیرون برید بیرون Definitely a vest in there. I wanted you to grab a vest too. Two, Riam. Hold that up. That whole Harka team. Just grab the freaking vest. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Nope. Not gonna do it, huh? Pushes me down. Harakat be Kunim. Harakat. What if all this crap is on the ground? Then, then would you be happy? I'm just tell him directly take the freaking tactical vest. Oh my god! Yes, shot man, chop! Daryov, shot! Hold that up! Oh, somebody's coming up behind us. Have some grenades, fellas. Crap, there's more soldiers coming. Okay, he got his vest at least. About to get not good here, folks. Three hundred meters south. I don't see him. Oh, they're there. They're right by the red truck. Much for that pretty red truck. Yeah, we should probably get out of here. I really want that loot right there, but... Is it worth it? Maybe. Crap. They're really uh, happy with the mortars. These are like actual soldiers, so they got decent gear. Here came. Helicopter! Oh, the frames. Fall back! Grabbing a helmet. He's dragging him out of harm's way. Holy crap, the AI is actually doing stuff? You said you were picking up a helmet, yet you have no helmet on. Man, 
Yeah, there's more guys down there. Let's move, fellas. Oh, I need a sight on this. Sucks to be them. There's a helmet right there. I'm gonna have to get it with loot crate, I guess. I can't get my guy to pick it up. Where's two? Everybody's up. That's a good sign. Two. Pet yourself up. And jump me up. Oh crap. Yeah, let's not be in the middle of the street. <laughs> Run away! I think they're starting to get very mad. If that's my guys screaming or somebody else screaming. These are usually in pairs, so... All right, you can go, dude. Just get out of here. Grab anything you need, fellas. Whole box of loot right there. Ooh, two's all over it. All right. How do we get back to my truck? This town is a maze. Oh, I'm so full of stuff. It doesn't have a vest. Two, you still don't have a vest? Two, heal that soldier. Open up your pack. There. I'll manually give it to you. stuff on the ground. <sighs> hey, picked up a helmet. Look at you. Aren't you special? Three, take the, uh, oh no, you're, oh, you're taking stuff. Look at you. Okay. They're actually doing stuff on their own now. They saw two and they're like, oh, he's, he's taking stuff. Maybe we should take stuff too. What's fuels in this red truck? Not much. Can't 
can't repair you any, huh? Four, driver, get in that vehicle. Suddenly I'm speaking Knock English for some reason, too. Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Dave, but AI mods don't work with Andy Stasi in general because they just break everything. Two, Andy Stasi three. has a ton of its own AI stuff. I'm on down. Four, four back. All right, can you follow me? Not too much to ask. Sure, I need any of that. Really like to get this soldier gear that we didn't get. How hot is that going to be down there? Can we sneak down there and get that. Where were they? Oh, they're there. Went way too far. Just let me see the menu, please. Thank you. Back nails. Now there is the uh, the SOG AI mod that goes along with the Prairie Fire DLC. And I used it for a couple of the videos in the Malden series. It was just too OP. Like it made the AI too good. I don't know if that's what you're thinking of. Four. Return to formation. Mark me down. Like, they turned them into Terminators, so. <laughs> it's fun, but, like I said, it was a little, a little too OP. All right, let's see if we can somehow get back to base. Oh, shoot. We had a gas station right back there, didn't we? Something like that, Nails. Four's like, what is Boss doing? I can't remember if the AI can refuel or if the player has to be in there. Four, move left. Oh crap! Well, rest in peace, four. He just got lit up by some kind of armor or something. Four. Well, so much for that truck. I'm coming for you for probably going to die too. Oh, he's toast. Can't, can't revive him. Oh, there's a, I see a turret poking up the hill. 
No! <laughs> Fellas, we gotta be not here. I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna be not here in a second. Hopefully not blown to smithereens. There's something with a turret poking up over the hill down there. Yeah, four got turned into putty, unfortunately. Let's see if we can get out of here with the loots. Rest in peace, buddy. Well, at least I got this truck filled up with gas, so now when it explodes, it'll be a nice, bright, big explosion. Oh, boy. Defilade! Need some defilade in my life. I don't care about entry. I care about the freaking high power gun trying to take us out from a kilometer away. Oh, we're back in view, apparently. That's not good. Dang, they can see us from a long ways away. No! Oh, too slow! <laughs> What the heck is shooting me? Oh, uh, we're all dead. He got us all. Oh, did they get the loot box too? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't have the um the revive option. I guess I forgot to turn that on in the parameters. What the heck was that? He's hit! Huh. We almost made it, chat. Just got swiped like a debit card. Pretty much. One. I am the new actual. Wait. Is either go up over the hill or continue to the right and there was more guys Shit, over to the right. So I I picked the hill. Not realizing how easily they would just pick us off. But truck hopefully is retrievable. This thing has almost no fuel. Does it have enough fuel to go down there and get the loot crate? That's the question. No, we're like four kilometers away. Sorry, I was just talking to my son there for a second. He's headed off to bed. Yeah, we definitely slowed a lot in the sand going uphill. Uh, so I can be undercover in a boxer truck, but I don't think, I don't think I can put the loot crate in there. So I'm going to have to go in this, unfortunately. It's not great. It is what it is. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. I knew I'd slow down going uphill, but I, I didn't think it was going to slow down quite that much. I thought I was going to go up the hill like that, then be over it, but it was it was a steep hill. 
We got deaded hard. Ooh, got eight dollars. On the plus side, that truck's still there. So that works. You get in and out of the truck, then they'll stick around. Now that's only during your session. They don't stick around. Uh, when you log off or quit. Mark this one as well. Actually, how much fuel does it have? Perfect. Yeah, I definitely slowed down enough. That was like a 40 millimeter cannon or something shooting at us, so... <laughs> We didn't have much of a chance. We almost made it. I just hope the truck doesn't catch on fire and explode. And destroy all the loot in the loot box. I don't know if I really need to be undercover, because we're going to actually cut across country here in a, in a bit, I think. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like when we get down there. This at least gives us the option of being undercover for a little bit. So we're on the other side of that mountain. Beautiful. Somebody's going to spot me here eventually. One would assume. change the plans actually you stay in there you go in the truck doo -doo -doo -doo. we're just out for a walk in the sand that's it nothing to see here folks just going for a little hike Got a resource point there. That's what I was trying to avoid. But I, in hindsight, I should have just kept on going and cut like right through there. Not taking the hill. The hill is a lot steeper and taller than I expected. Don't think the fellas made it. They're all dead, dead. Now, when I pick this up, do I go off cover? No, I can be undercover and run around with this. Okay. Fair enough. Let's get this back over the top of the hill into the other truck, and then we'll see about other options. Actually, can I gather loot while being undercover? Or am I going to die right now? Maybe within 50 meters, I think. Run! Okay, so you can gather loot while you're undercover. I wasn't sure. That should have got all the gear off the fellas. Do 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 do. Just me and my magic box out for a walk. Totally normal. Okay, loot successfully retrieved. Let's see if I can repair that truck. It has a ton of fuel in it. It'd be nice to have. Should be able to repair it enough with my toolkit that I can drive it. 
Uh, the downside will be, I don't think I can be undercover in it. So those guys are going to get mad. Those guys are going to get mad. Those guys are going to get mad. They might tell those guys to get mad. It could get pretty interesting here. It's the hat. Is that the secret? Okay. We repaired it. So here's the plan. I'm going to hop in the driver's seat. We're going to just casually drive up over the top of that dune and nobody's going to notice. Okay. Everybody on board with that plan? It's going to casually drive up over here. Nothing at, nothing going on at all, folks. Nothing to see here. We're all good. Totally nothing to see at all. Yeah, you can't be undercover when you're towing. That's kind of what I thought. Fair enough. Alright, how do I get back to base? Base is way over here. We can go 50 kilometers an hour. Bit of a slog through the sand, but we got the loot, we got the truck, kept the hat on. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. I like the tow script they're using, it's way smoother than the other one. Oh yeah, we got the fedora on. I mean, that's that's the first thing I picked when I made my outfit. It's the closest I could find to a fedora. truck. Here we go. It's built Ford tough, like a rock. I don't remember what Rams, what's Rams tagline? I drive a Ram and I don't even know what a Rams tagline is. Good. Nailed it. Stuck the landing. That's where you click the uh, clip button there, chat. <laughs> Turn that into a short. Proper men and proper hats. Something like that. All right, there's our other truck. We'll grab that on the way home. I don't actually know if I can tow two in this truck or not. I know you can in the big trucks. We'll give it a whirl. Uh, deploy tow ropes. Attach the tow ropes. I don't know if we'll be even be able to move now. Oh yeah, no problem. Totally got this. All right, how about the box truck pulling these three? Is that a thing? I think it's classified as a larger truck. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, no, you can only tow. Okay, interesting. Well, that's got the loot in it. We'll come back for the others. Or can I do two at once? What's the limit here? 
Apparently we can't pull three. Yeah, it like broke the tow rope off. There must be limits. The tow script said, I sense shenanigans. So I'm guessing two is the limit. Uh, we want this one because it's got all the fuel in it. I want them all, but we'll uh, uh, put away tow ropes. And pick up tow ropes and attach the tow rope. Hey, Dave. Best mod ever. Thank you, sir. Oh, really? I can pull two with the normal truck. But not with the box truck. Okay, so it's the box truck specifically. Weird. Okay, we're doing some science here. So a regular pickup truck, I could pull two behind me. And I throw the box, or the, not the box truck, but the, I throw the other truck on the back of these. That would be hilarious. Gut glory ram. All right. That's kind of cheesy. Good trucks, though. It's got like an inch more headroom than Ford or Chevy. That's why I went with a Ram. I don't like driving a truck and my head hits the ceiling. Ram's got just enough space. Look at that. <laughs> totally legit. For sure. Going the same speed as we were towing one truck. All right. Yep. It, we're doing 75 kilometers an hour on the road too. Works for me. A little squirrely back there. Easy, fellas. Easy. What, David? You don't think you could do this in real life? <laughs> Pulling it wouldn't be much of a problem. It'd be stopping it. This tow script kind of drives the truck. So that's why they got to oscillating back there. It's super smooth too. It's not herky-jerky like the normal Andy Stassi tow script. All right, let's get right over here. We can drop the loot box off. Petros, I brought you presents. Man, we need a repair vehicle so bad. I have my, I've got my toolkit. It just, it's, it can't be repaired anymore. All right, put you in the garage. How much fuel did you have? Yeah, enough to get to the gas station. Put you in the garage. Poor truck. <laughs> uh, we'll put you in the garage. Oops, wrong key. Go in the garage, we'll grab the loot from there. I should have unlocked vests, right? Let's 
say what oh it was a different color vest they had son of a i need one more black tactical vest <sighs> trade it in for a new car yeah i need to find a repair vehicle there's just there are few and far between really ought to go to bed but i kind of want to find either a fuel or a repair vehicle so i think i will go out one last little expedition Hit the save. We're gonna take our poor, our poor truck here. No, that's not the right one. Need some fuel for that guy. Uh, not that one. Uh, eh, it's got a decent amount of fuel. We could probably make it to the gas station in that. So you make sure we're restored. And take two dudes with me. Bring cars back. Let me grab my starter here. Hop in, fellas. We need to head down to the gas station. It's our first port of call. See you, Petros. It's like deja, deja vu all over again. Head south out of the base. Southeast. We are five kilometers from the nearest gas station. No! I was reading chat. Gotta quit reading chat. Yeah, until you tried stopping, right, David? <laughs> That's always the thing. You can pull a lot more than you can stop. That's, uh, and that's pretty dicey. Nine tons with a half ton pickup. the green van I want the service van man so I can fix all these broken vehicles I think I can also recruit an engineer and they can repair them but I don't think they can repair them 100% they can repair them more than I can I think I'm not sure if the engineer can repair it 100% I forget but that's also an option. The truck does not have a confident horn. Forget about the rally point. That costs money, I think. So I've got 500 bucks. Tour has 279. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to make some cash. But I usually like to concentrate on getting vests and helmets at least unlocked. Real close to vests. swung a little wide there's dudes in the road that's not fair okay good they didn't notice us they put a roadblock right here by the highway hopefully they don't notice you're at work and bored that sucks that makes for a long work day if you're bored Rest in peace, four. All right, 
Let's grab some gas. service van. Fuel truck or service van. Be most welcome. Was this an actual road? Does this count as a road? Oh cool, you can do like a power brake turn. I didn't know that was a thing. Wait, those guys have black tactical vests? Supposed to do the element of surprise. Got to tell him to hold fire. Hey, would you guys check out my grenade? Is it explodey enough? I won't die. How do you consider it? Murder, one tree, no beans. I got you, buddy. Okay, get down, buddy. Man, push it, get down, buddy. That's why we keep getting mortared down here. Hi, sir. I just want your vest. No hard feelings. I'll take your helmet too while we're here. Hey Dave, this is uh, the Western Sahara DLC map. I forget the name of it, but it's it's from the Western Sahara DLC. Really nice desert map. Nobody, nobody wants it, huh? I will have to force you to take it, I guess. Yeah, we've almost, almost got helmets unlocked as soon as I can get back. Two base with the, uh, these, or not helmets, the vests. Why will you not take the freaking vest? It's right there. Uh, 
Oh, I give up. Freaking armor. Do 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 do. We're gonna both get shot in the head probably while I'm doing this. <laughs> hey, you got a vest on. Good for you. And that's how it goes, Blue. It's a uh, it's a very slow start, slow burn. Oh, new guy spawned in right there. Fun. Hey, fellas. Would you check if my grenade is exploding enough? Not quite exploding enough. How about that one? I mean, if you're just going to stand there, I'll shoot you, I guess. Are you shooting me? <laughs> what are you shooting at? They seem to kind of spawn in on top of you a lot. I don't know if that's a map thing or an anti stasi ultimate thing. It's the first time I played ultimate. How do we take over the town? You have to raise the support. So you can do that by doing missions to support the town. Uh, killing the patrols and stuff around them, taking outposts nearby, just kind of your your influence altogether affects that. And the problem is there's these radio towers that spread propaganda in a radius, so it's really hard to take a town and hold it until you control the radio towers. Okay, there's all kinds of loot here, guys. Are you are you gonna take anything? Stay sharp. You want a little looty looty? Not so much. Okay. I tried. ZFG, howdy howdy. All right, I don't see any other vehicles over there. Let's go back to the truck. Scoop up some loot. Oh, there's fellows over there. Yeah, area clear for now. Until that mortar Order. comes in. One click, not each. <laughs> Fall back. Montazerem. Andromeda. Oh, he's getting three up. Ow. Reporting over. 
Yeah, it's not updating their status for some reason. Weird. Okay, good. We still have undercover status. Get in that vehicle. Nice. Yeah, throw that in the truck. I'm not wearing any military gear. I can get out of the vehicle and, in theory, be still undercover. I want to be able to do that so I can gather this loot up. Just a car. All right. There's that Jeep. about here and get most of this loot. Oh, I'm personally still on the wanted list. Okay. Wait, didn't I bring a loot box? No, because we were just looking for vehicles. Right, I forgot. Well, let me just gather up what we might need real quick. Make sure we get the vests and any helmets is the main thing. And we have neither of one of those in here. I can grab my hat back. Though. Oh, we unlocked the vermin mag, so we don't need that. Make your first aid kits. I wish, like, in, uh... Is it overthrow? You can have your AI loot to the vehicle for you. That would be nice. Alright, so I can be in the truck undercover, but I can't be out running around undercover. I don't remember if there was anything. <laughs> if there's anything left in here. Uh, I guess I might as well take the vermin. Wouldn't hurt to have that unlocked. Hope that mortar doesn't spot me. This is why the loot box is saying you will just vacuum it right up. Uh, let's see, we don't need any of that. Those other two guys over there somewhere. Where are they at? They were kind of in an alleyway over here. Shooting towards us over there. So I gotta be in one of these, these alleys over here. No? Yeah, wearing a vest gives you more storage. Oh, they're there. They were back through this gap is where I was seeing them. But then you can't be undercover with a vest, which I'm busted right now, so I can't be undercover anyway, but... Also want the space to uh, grab the vest. Like that. Oh, that 
us the pistol mag. I didn't need those. Oh well. Okay, loot acquired. Still no fuel or repair trucks though. Oh, that's right, you can't get out down here. Oh, you can go this way. All right, we're good. That's uh, all good, David. Ask away. It's a heavily modded version of Arma 3. So the anti Stasi mod. If you want to read about it, uh, the website is anti Stasi.de. Should be a link in the stream description. They've got guides and stuff there that walk you through how to play the game, explains how it all works. It's basically a guerrilla warfare game mode. Start with really basic equipment and you try to take over the map. Alright, that is a roadblock. No heavy machine gun though. Interesting. What else are you close to? Not much. Hmm. A little bit of cover over there. Is it worth it? I don't have a loot box with me. I'm not sure we can go by and not get spotted, though. Unless we're at high speed. So I might want to back off and get some speed. And then, is there a town? There's a town down there. Might find some cars. There's an outpost. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get through here. Hmm. Because if there's an outpost right at the road, I don't think we'll be able to get through there without getting busted. How far away is that outpost? Ooh, yeah. Probably don't want to try taking out that roadblock. Not with two guys and puny weapons. There's just not a lot of road options. Especially with the airfields here, because you can't go to the airfield to get busted. So we could go down this road. Check out some of these smaller towns. No, we ain't got it, Nails. We would get clobbered. I've been clobbered enough tonight. Guerrilla Warfare is not... You're not Rambo. <laughs> you want to be like the little annoying bee. Sting and then fly away. Don't you try to... He's trying an insurance scam. You gotta watch him. <laughs> yeah, you can't sneak into the airport. You get busted immediately. Just by being on the base. What's up, Long Holler? Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. The element is surprise. Is that a Jeep just sitting there for the taking?
All right, so we got uh, a couple two-man patrols. Uh, any vehicles really worth taking other than the Jeep might be nice. Just to have a Jeep. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot something kind of important here, guys. Maybe we should grab a gun. Just, just saying. Maybe we should grab a gun. Should rock the vermin? Do I have any? Oh, I didn't pick up any ammo for the vermin, so let's not rock the vermin. Get some smoke grenades. All right, we got this. Well, they can soak up the nine mil. Hey, chubby hubby. It's, it's going okay now. Didn't get off to a great start. But that was mostly due to a bug. Are these guys that were down here are gonna... Oh, they're there. Ow! The guy could get hurt doing that. You need to lay down there, son. I don't know why these guys Danger. don't go to combat mode when they're in combat. I'll explicitly tell them to go into combat. Oh crap. Sorry. I wasn't checking my fire lane. Oh crap. They're flanking. Shot the crap out of this nice Jeep sitting here, guys. I was going to take that home. Oh, it's hard to find good help these days. Hey, Ford Horde. Just thinking of playing some Arma. It's good fun. I've been wanting to play it all week. Just haven't had time. Been wanting to check out this map for a while. Bought this DLC quite a while back on one of the sales. Specifically to try out Anastasi on it. Hadn't yet had a chance to play. Here we are. We're, f wow, four hours, 20 minutes in. Time flies. All right, I want you guys to get vests and helmets, okay? How about joining the good guys? Why not? Can't be any worse. <laughs> nice. We got another Stay HR calm. point. Alright, fellas. Grab stuff. Yeah, that's it. Run in circles around the box. You gotta sneak up on it. All right, let's go get these other guys. What formation are you guys running? Form veg. Oh, you guys didn't grab the helmets, did you? Oh man, I gotta do everything myself. Oh, here, let's go revive these guys. Before they croak. See another two man patrol off over there at the far side of town. 
Yeah, no worries, Long Hauler. I'll be wrapping it up here before too long. If I'm not here, have a good weekend. Not bad joining the good guys. Screw you. <laughs> I don't think he's interested, guys. Oh, he's got an ADR. Take that. Sure. Seriously, fellas, somebody grab something. You have a vest, but you don't have a helmet. You don't have either one. Three, pet yourself up. And jump me down. Two, pet yourself up. Didn't realize you guys needed first aid. Should have said something. Three, move back. Andromeda? What? Okay. Um, this has got optic on it, so you take that. It should make you do better. You already have a radio, so that's good. You don't have a tactical vest, though, so let's fix that. It's okay, buddy. I got you. There you go. They even give you some grenades. Another smoke. Give you a pistol, even. Now you're all set. Uh, I somehow don't have any first aid kits. I guess when you revive them, it uses a first aid kit up. So they keep disappearing. Now there was another guy down here somewhere. Where did he go? Shot him over here? Yeah, there he is. Oh, he just died, so. Rest in peace, brother. Now, you. Fall back. Do you take anything from here? He doesn't have a helmet. You already have a vest. But you're going to pick up another vest. Okay, fair enough. You're so weird, Arma. You're so weird. Alright, take that. Alright, two man patrols right over there. So if I hit three and then zero. Oh, he even does the hand gesture. Fancy. Let me spot these guys so they know where they're at. Man, 400 meters southeast. I see movement. Rifleman, 400 meters southeast. Okay, so now my guys are aware of them. I don't want them to shoot at them from 400 meters with a 9mm. So that's why I told them to hold fire. Until I shoot. Enemy spotted. Car. 300 meters. Bearing 330. Car, huh? So I used up all my dang grenades. Uh, well, actually, I don't want to bust the undercover on that. Let me just double check. We got all the goodies out of here we need. Definitely got vests unlocked now. If I can get back to base and put these in. Probably reload too. Ten rounds is not going to go very far. Oh no, you had all kinds of good stuff. Want to take that? Say what now? Oh, contract, contact infantry. Yeah, that's the guys I was telling you about. Eh, we can't pick you up. 
Too much stuff. All right, we need to dump and come back. A little far for an ADR even. A little short barrel. It's not terribly accurate. Uh, let's see. We'll just dump you in there. Partial mag. Get rid of you. Guys probably won't spot us over here. This far away. They look tired. We should probably go relieve them of their gear so they don't have to carry all that heavy gear around. Yeah, with this little tiny barrel. Look at that thing. All right, hop in, fellas. Get in that vehicle. That your shoot. How about them? Go pay these gentlemen a visit. Well, this doesn't loop around. I was hoping it would loop around. And there would be more cars over here. Disembark. Daddy offshore. Daddy offshore. Oh crap. That's a technical. Take cover. Daddy offshore. They spot us. That would be bad news. Assume they would have shot if they spotted us. Fall back. Can eat them. Move up. Doramium. Come on, them. I like this mod. It gives you a fire on my command option. I think it's called fire on my lead. Something like that. There's a mod list in the video description. I'm liking it. That's that's a new mod for me. I used to use that all the time with. I used to use advanced command menu. I think it was called. I had handy little stuff like that. Turns out it was causing a lot of issues with anti stasi, so I can't use it with anti stasi. Twenty inch barrel. Yeah, it's not too bad, because it goes back into the stock. It's kind of a weird design. The rear magazine and stuff. Not exactly a marksman rifle, though. I just want to get waylaid by that uh, technical back there. All right, there's another helmet. So now we got to war level two. I wonder if that's because they killed Petros. Maybe that bumps up the war level.
Okay, we'll release one and we'll try to recruit another one. How about joining the good guys? Screw you! I don't think he's a fan. Uh, nope, we can't stick another tack fest in there. So I'm going to have to make a trek back and forth here. Though I'm not sure that sting is really worth it. I think it's better than the PDW though. So I kind of want to unlock it. Plus there's a, a bunch of them around. Return to formation. It's the Jeep. I thought that was a technical up on the hill. Definitely don't want to tangle with that bad boy. Yeah, there's 16 of those. I think we should be able to unlock that when we get back. 16 of those mags. We get the sting with the holocide unlocked. That helps their accuracy, the AI. Did you get stuck again? My only complaint with this map is the AI seem to get stuck a fair amount. Who is that? That's three. Come here, bud. Three. Move back. Yeah, he's stuck. One. Weapons free. I'm back on hold fire, just in case. Oh crap. Take cover. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> he just pulled into that compound over there. Oh no, there he goes. That's the old info. Leave them in cover. I'm gonna see if I can grab this last gun. I got my blue hat on. Fall back. And jump me down. Free to engage. Weapons free. Man up, we should I kind of want to ambush that technical, but don't know if we're if that'd be a good move because we're really far from home. So it'd be kind of tough to get it back to base unless we use the fast travel. Oh, I need to go to bed, so I need to get off here. Oh, there's a camel statue. That's cool. So yeah, maybe I'll just fast travel back. Do we still have undercover status? Oh, we actually do. 
Get in that vehicle. Yeah, I was really hoping to find at least a fuel or repair vehicle. What are our options here? We got a few more small towns. Let's let's go take a quick look around. So if we want to head out that direction, it looks like. I'm going to turn left at this mark. Car, 300 meters west. Actually, a decent amount of green back there. to turn the civilian vehicles back up. We're going to have any hope of finding stuff. All right, left here, if I remember right. here just a cheap it looks like yeah I just see a cheap so that is that little town so I want to go here and take another left oh this is the town we started at right okay now I know where I'm at wasn't used to coming at it from this angle. So our original base was at that oasis down there. And we weren't even like, I don't know, 20-30 minutes in and a uh, random patrol spawned down there by the base and shot Petro, so he died. So we lost all our money and a bunch of equipment and had to move. So I moved to the other end of the map. Which seemed like a good idea at the time, but I'm kind of regretting that now. But at least Petros hasn't got ganked yet, so there's that. Uh, I wanted to go which way? Yeah, this way. All right. Go have a little look see. We can always fast travel back home. We don't have to drive all the way back across the map. Wee. their jeeps got a pick them up truck yeah I see, I see him calm down calm down I'm gonna keep it cool here guys We're, uh, we're surrounded by enemies, so we don't want to pick a fight right now. There's like 20 guys right here. Okay, maybe 30 guys. I didn't realize that was a flag there. Just a pick-em-up truck. 
Well, we can always use another truck, so. Three. How about you grab that truck? Three. Dismount. Shenida. Montanara. Three. Driver. Get in that vehicle. Dariofsun. Hazara. Form column. Suchtan Pamungse. Three. Form back. Ahmida. All right, on me three. Confident horn in charge. Yeah, I don't have a horn, so we'd be out of luck. <laughs> Nails wants me to die. I've already, I've already died enough tonight. Well, hasn't been too bad. I think, uh, actually, have I just, have I just died that once? Maybe? I'm not sure. It's been a long week. I'm very tired. It's way past my bedtime. We're going to fast travel. So, fast travel. Part of from enemies, we can do that. We're way up here. What? I did click near a marker under my control. Probably closed the map too fast. There we go. 40 seconds. I'm all for charging into victory, but that, my friend, would not have been victory. <laughs> Except for f victory for the enemy. There was at least 30 troops right there. It would not have been pretty. We did all right, though. I think this was, a, this was a pretty good start. Other than the whole Petros dying right at the beginning. Which I'm going to chalk up to a bug. Not a bad run. I need to get all these guys. Your equipment. Yeah, we unlocked a tactical vest. Woohoo! We have a vest. Actually, you guys both get in here, and I'll get your get gear off. Me, I can just come to the arsenal and get my gear off. I'm going back to my starter. Starter loadout. And let's see. Tactical vest. Radio. You got all kinds of good stuff. Dismount. All right, fellas. Been real. I'm gonna send you on your way now. Hey, we unlocked the uh, ADAR. Unlocked the old P90 mag. Nice. It's not too bad. Not too not too shabby. I'm not sure what the sound there is all about. Let's take a let's take a little recap here. We got a whole bunch of guns. Uh, what are we? We're pretty. We're over halfway to unlocking the Sting. Decent amount of the ADAR 97s. And hey, we got half a dozen Mark 20 Charlies, so not not terrible. Uh, it didn't take the Maz away from me, so that's good. Uh, we've got a bunch of pistols, which we can unlock easily. That's not a problem. Uh, vests, just unlocked attack vests, so I should change my loadout. Can I just do that? Then I can throw it in the truck if I want to be undercover. There we go. That means I can carry more stuff. I should probably swap it around. 
Uh, helmet wise, yeah, we've got 15 of the blue helmets. So we're, we need 10 more of those. Pretty close. Pretty close to having the uh, helmets unlocked as well. Going to volunteer to Railroad Museum. That sounds like fun, Ford. Have fun with that. Yeah, it wasn't a great start, Blue, but yeah, we'll see. CSAT is pretty active too, so it'd be interesting to fight CSAT. I haven't done that in a long time. Um, I think... What's the armor difference between these guys? Same. I'm going to go ahead and have me wear that, and then hopefully I can always get my body back. Save that. Yeah, I'll stick with the PTW. I can always pick up something else. Uh, how about Radidios? Yeah, we unlocked the radio, so that's good. It's easier to control your AI from further away. All right, good deal. So we want to redo our loadout here. Take all the ammo out of here. And I want a toolkit. I get a toolkit and a med kit if I unload everything else. What else have I got in here? Oh, two toolkits. No, we don't want that. <laughs> don't need two toolkits. And then we'll go or put our ammo in the uh in the vest here. So what does that get me? Six mags. I can put more mags in my backpack. Let's grab a couple more. I'm not sure what I just did, but okay. <laughs> did I just heal myself? It's trying to open the arsenal. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but okay. I guess it used the med kit to heal me. Put more mags in there. Then we're back to our eight mags. Yeah, I usually don't do that kind of stuff blue till I get the vest and helmet unlocked, or if I've got my guys equipped. What the? Oh, it's just, I think that's a civilian chopper. Yeah, okay, civilian chopper. Thought we were busted, Petros. Hopefully they don't report us to the enemy. Uh, what was I doing? Optics. Ooh, we just need four more of the uh, Mark 17 holocyte. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and throw one of those on mine. All right. Does it matter for the PDW? Maybe it doesn't really matter for the PDW. We'll leave it off. Uh, we haven't really picked up anything else yet. Although it wouldn't hurt to have a flashlight on there. Oh, it doesn't work. Never mind. Yeah, cool. So we made some good progress. It was a good night. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Appreciate it. Have yourselves a great weekend, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.